Good evening, everyone. I am back today with a different type of video, and I hope you enjoy it. Today, I'll be cooking some flathead catfish. If you haven't seen the video two, three videos ago, I caught a flathead catfish, and today I'm going to cook it. I already filleted it already, but it's been in the freezer, so it's time for me to cook it. Y'all stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, everybody. As you can see, this is the flathead catfish that I filleted a long a while back and it still has the skin so that that's proof that that I'm cooking the actual catfish I didn't just buy the catfish but yeah it's already filleted I'm gonna I got too lazy so I didn't cut the skin but I'll probably cut the skin right now and this is the fish we're working with we're gonna use this breadcrumbs we're gonna use some black pepper some Tabasco of course and then this I'm trying something different. We're gonna go with this Cajun fish breading seasoning. It should be good. Y'all stay tuned. All right, we already cut the skin off, as you can tell. Now it's time to dry the water. I already, I cleaned the fish, washed it. Now we need to dry it with a piece of napkin. And we do this. It's important to do this because if you try to cook it all wet, it's gonna the fish is gonna taste mushy. It's gonna taste like water, like fish still. It's not gonna be great. So you need to dry it up with a piece of napkin. It's fairly simple. Not too bad. And we ended up cutting a lot of the meat because uh what's it called? Had a lot of red meat by the skin. So that might be my fault because I decided to cut the skin like a month from when I caught it, but should be good. And we're we're gonna end up making like some fish nuggets, so y'all stay tuned. All right, fish is all dry, as you can tell. Now, before we start seasoning, it, seasoning the fish, you want to dump your fish in a Ziploc bag. Easy. Plain and simple in a Ziploc bag. And with this Tabasco, you want to dump a bunch of Tabasco in that bag. And the reason I do this is because once I start, after I let, let it soak in Tabasco, I season it. The season stays intact. Also, the fish is just naturally more spicier, which I'm a fan of spicy spiciness so if you love spiciness you should definitely try this but yeah don't be scared in adding a lot of tabasco all right i pretty much dumped the whole thing but you might not want to dump the whole thing if you love if you're not a big fan of tabasco you just want to hit it hit it Get that fish all seasoned up. Well, not seasoned, but sauced up. Then add a little bit more. Okay, as you can see, it's all sauced up. But before I season it, before I cook it, I like to I like to let the fish sit in the fridge with the sauce for about 30 minutes in the fridge. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. We'll be back. Bye. All right, guys and gals, I'm back. Fish has been marinating, marinating or soaked in that sauce in the fridge for about two three hours and sorry if I'm a bit sweaty but I was outside scouting for some new fishing spots I do it for y'all but yeah that's how it is all sauced up this is where the magic happens now we're gonna put some black pepper in there you don't even need to take the fish out just, just season it and don't be scared with your, your seasoning Y'all can't be scared of 
seasoning our food. You just want to season it. Twist, twist, you know. Twist, keep on twisting. Yeah. That looked a little wrong, but I hope you are my viewers, all of y'all, I hope y'all are a little bit mature, you know. We got some of this seasoning, some Cajun seasoning, big bold flavor, you know. I want to put some of that in there too. Not too much because, let's see, yeah, that's, some, that's Cajun. But don't put too much seasoning, like, y'all want to put a lot, but not too much. Then you can't taste the fish and... Oh, dang. About to make a mess there. Oh, uh, and then put your breadcrumbs. Y'all can't be scared to put breadcrumbs. Yeah. You got some great value. You already know. Soak that all up. You don't have much fish, so... You don't need too much breadcrumbs. Then again. Hit it. Add it. Add it. You know. Okay. Oh dang. I'm making a mess, guys. Guys and gals. While I'm, while I'm seasoning all of this up. Um, I was actually supposed to drop a fishing video today, but I went to the fishing pier Not the fishing pier, but the dam And it was bad there was I I had no bites. I Fished for walleye stripers catfish buffalo carp everything you name it Nothing was biting You can be the best fisherman out there, but you can't force fish to eat so All right, everybody it's a little bit too hot, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna throw that fish in there. Some fish nuggets, you already know. That's what we want, baby. That's what we want, baby. Ah, oh God, this, oh, oh, oh. Oh, everybody, this is dangerous. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have not thrown, thrown it like that, guys. It's too dangerous. And don't worry, we're gonna clean our mess. Ah, this is dangerous. Y'all kids at home, y'all need parent supervision for this, okay? Ah. Ah. Y'all didn't see what happened, but that the oil jumped and it jumped on my foot. Ah. 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 All right, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it did get my feet. Oh. All right, I'm making a big mess. I'm sorry. I'm gonna clean it. I promise. Oh, 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 oh. All right, y'all stay tuned. Let me kick this. We're probably gonna have it two minutes on each side, and I'll be back. Bye, bye. Guys and gals, we made it. It was a bit dangerous. Uh, but it, it came out good. I, I'm in love. This is the final product. Sorry for the lighting. Voila. I introduce you some fish nuggets. AKA flathead catfish nuggets. That's how we do it around this channel. Look at that. It's not even burnt. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, that looks a little burnt. I promise, it's not burnt. It's that's you want to you want it crunchy. But yeah, it's not even fish is not dry. We cooked it for the right amount of time with the right amount of time. I mean, it was perfect. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna we're gonna put some sides. We're gonna have this fish, and you're gonna watch me enjoy this fish. Thank you. Y'all stay tuned. Also. One quick note, before before you eat the fish, make sure to dry the fish. You know, you don't want all that grease in your system. And don't get me wrong, 
the grease is delicious you know so yeah but it's you know you don't want to especially like me i fish all the time and i'm gonna start cooking more often for y'all and it's important just to dry the fish dry that grease off you'll get like extra five years of of life you won't regret it but if you don't dry the grease you know that's doesn't matter you know but yeah that's how we do it around here y'all stay tuned ladies and gentlemen this is the final product we got the fish nuggets aka flathead catfish nuggets like i said before we got the bajita mac and cheese or or however you call it and then we got the couscous salad Yes, yes, yes. You might say the couscous salad does not complement this meal, but it is delicious. It is healthy as cucumbers, as um, uh, couscous, as squash, as kale, um, kale vegetable. And yeah, this is it. Y'all stay tuned and watch me enjoy this. <clears throat> All right, gonna take the first bite. It's, it's crunchy, just the way you want uh, to fry your fish. <clears throat> Don't forget, we put Tabasco, we put black pepper, we put Cajun seasoning, and yeah, and breadcrumbs. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Wow. Let's put some of that Vegeta, mac and cheese, cucumber. Mmm. 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 Mm. I'm not making this up. I promise. This fish is delicious. And yeah, it's kind of crazy. We had a eight pound flathead catfish and it's right here. Awesome. Well, yeah, that's probably going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. Um, comment down below if you like these type of videos. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to go completely. This channel is not going to turn into completely cooking, right? We love eating around this channel though. But we're still gonna fish. But yeah, I can make more videos like this. If I catch a walleye, if I catch a, a bass, if I catch a even bluegill, crappy, um, anything, you know? A lot of people say carp and buffalo taste is disgusting. You know? I don't know how to cook it, but we can probably try in this channel. So please comment down below if you like this video, if you think if you would like to eat this type of meal and yeah like comment subscribe and fish on everybody